killed. She fired four rounds during this incident. Officer Tamboro is assigned to the Community Policing Division, South Central Area Command. The suspect was identified as Gabriel Charles. He was a 27-year-old Hispanic male adult, 5'8", 165. He is pictured to my left. The investigation revealed Charles was armed with a Smith and Wesson 9mm pistol. The investigation revealed he fired one round and the weapon malfunctioned during this incident. Charles' charges, had he survived, are attempted murder with a deadly weapon on a protected person, battery with a deadly weapon, resisting with a firearm, and prohibited person possession of firearm. The details of this officer-involved shooting are as follows. On September 10th, 2022, Officer Tierney Tamboro and her partner were conducting directed patrol enforcement in the area of Flamingo Boulevard and University Center Drive. This is part of a, this part of the valley is known as a hot spot for violent crime. Part of LVMPD's efforts to reduce violent crime and improve the quality of life for residents in this area includes extra patrols by patrol officers. At approximately 1.13 a.m., Officer Tamboro and her partner conducted a vehicle stop on a Buick in the 3900 block of University Center Drive for a traffic infraction. The vehicle was occupied by three males and Officer Tamboro asked them to step out of the vehicle and instructed them to walk back to the marked patrol vehicle. The driver and rear passenger complied to her request and walked to the front of the police car. The front passenger, Gabriel Charles, stepped out of the Buick initially and initially appeared to comply, but prior to a pat down for weapons, he decided to run for, from officers as he approached the police car. Officer Tamboro chased after Charles northbound through the parking lot of the apartment complex. Charles produced a handgun as he was running, running and quickly turned his body and fired one round towards Officer Tamboro. Officer Tamboro was struck by the bullet which caused her to immediately collapse to the ground. She was able to discharge a firearm towards Charles as, she continued, as he continued to run away. Charles was struck by gunfire and fell to the ground. Additional units arrived and performed a down officer rescue. The officers transported Officer Tamboro to UMC Trauma, where she was treated for injuries and is currently recovering at home. An incident action team took Charles into custody and he was transported to Sunrise Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. The driver of the Buick was subs subsequently arrested for DUI. The third male in the Buick was not arrested and was released after being interviewed by our officers. I will now play for you the body one camera videos depicting the officer involved shooting. As a reminder, the body one camera videos are silent for the first 30 seconds prior to activation. This is Officer Tamboro at the driver side of the, of the vehicle.
This is a still photo of the suspect shooting at her officer. Uh, that's the body one camera video and the still shot we have. Do you have any questions? What were the extents of her injury? Did you say she was shot in the leg? Can you describe her injury? She was shot in the pelvis, which why she immediately went to the ground. And like I said earlier, she uh, is at home, but in a lot of pain. Will she be able to return to work? And, and when? Uh, we, it's, since it's so early in, the, uh, in her recovery, we don't know the answers to those questions. Uh, but we have every uh, hope that she'll be back to, ruin it, to work as soon as possible. Sure, we have a foot pursuit policy that guides officers and that we train uh, in, in uh, our advanced officer training school and reality-based training of how and when to chase someone. Um, since Officer Tambora was so close to the suspect when he started to run, it's certainly within policy for her to chase after him. Uh, if he were to uh, leave the property or go to another complex, jump a fence, then we would probably ask our officers to stop um, at, set up a perimeter and try to take that suspect into custody that way. Uh, but this was a pretty short distance, I think, about a, less than 200 feet that this pro pursuit went on for. What's the criminal history of Charles? By chance, you mentioned um, if he were alive, uh, person that was so prohibited. Um, all I'll say right now is, since we're not going to give out the criminal history today, is that that will be available. Uh, at a later time, and especially from the district attorney's office, um, and is part of the arrest report, but we're not going to discuss his criminal history right now. This encounter occurred near UNLV. Was there any involvement from campus security or university police? Uh, no, most of the, the, the UNLV police and security are on the other side of Flamingo, so it's really a, a good distance away, although it's in proximity to UNLV. Well, that mal malfunction there is what we call a sto uh, stovepipe. And so the uh, round, the brass was stuck in the chamber and it had to be uh, manipulated to, to be able to get that out before you could shoot again. Um, so, I, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you what he did or didn't do. All I can say is the gun will not fire when it's like that, but there were 14 additional rounds in his magazine. Well, I, you know, I, I'd be guessing, but I think that, um, you know, we can't we can't anticipate that. And Officer Tamboro did the best she could in those circumstances, uh, but we can't guess to what would have happened from that suspect. Um, how would you describe or characterize her conduct during this? I mean, she seemed friendly when she was getting the guys to do the pat down, and then he started running, and then obviously the shooting, and then she was still communicating on a radio how would you describe her conduct overall? well I I would say that she's a, a great example of a hero police officer she showed her courage she so showed calm under pressure um, and I think she did an outstanding job and we're very all very proud of her I thank you for all your questions we're gonna wrap it up for now thanks again <laughs>